Yeah, I kind of like that because then it gets this little, you know, thatch looking crap out of the way. Yeah, I think I'm going to redo it um, and have it match that end. I'm glad that was a happy accident, as Bob Ross used to say. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to finish building our wharf. And uh, after that, figure out what the next thing is that we're going to do. <laughs> I, I know what the next thing is that I need to do, but I'm not uh, sure how far we'll get. So main focus for uh, this episode is to finish our wharf. So as you can see, I've got the dock itself done, uh, or almost done. And so what we're going to do is work on uh, covering it and adding some trim work and that sort of thing um, in this episode. But... I'm having a little bit of trouble with this last corner because it's really deep. So, you know, uh, with all the other deeper areas, I was able to raise the ground with the hoe enough to get a support in place all the way down there. But this one, this corner is giving me all kinds of trouble. So, um, see, I can't, it's just a little too far down. So we're going to try something here. We're going to actually put a set of stairs going down off of here to lower us down just a little bit and see if that's enough to get there we go nice okay so let's give that a couple of squirts all right now if we put our okay we don't want the pole to be on the stairs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit it again and then let's remove the stairs and see if we can get this to go in there. Nah, it's still a little low. Okay, no problem. Let's uh, hit it again. And then see if that does the trick. Look at that. And it's even touching. Okay, cool. We got her done. All right. Now, um, I made a couple changes uh, since I left you guys in the last episode. Uh, basically, I raised the dock up even higher than it was because even, even with where it was, the water was still getting over the top of it. And if we have fairly substantial waves, it'll even reach up to, to here, but not as much as it was before. Uh, so we raced it up a little bit. I parked the longship, you know, out in front. You can see the water's just barely um, getting over it right there. So, but I think this is a good height uh, for it here. This little section down here is going to be for the carve. Uh, so there's plenty of room for it to sail in here and then back out and sail back out. And over here, um, if we if we decide to build the raft, which I still haven't decided if we're going to do that or not, um, I think it would fit in here. I'm not even sure how big the raft is. I never actually built one. Uh, what does it take to do that? Let's take a quick look here. So miscellaneous uh, raft. It just requires 20 wood, six leather scraps, and six resin. Um, do we want to do that? Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I, I made a little platform down there and put the, the workbench under the stairs, as you can see. So, I mean, it's not expensive at all to make. I just, I'm not sure if I want it down. For goodness sakes, I did it again. Um, I'm just not sure if I want it down there banging up against the dock and stuff. But um, let's let's just give it a try and see. I mean, it might not even fit. I don't know how much height it said we needed, so... Uh, Okay, <clears throat> so let's just see uh, if it'll fit. We'll plop it down there, and we might never actually take it out, but at least we'll have it, right? Um, wait, what? Okay, here we go. It's hard to t say for sure. Here, let's launch. I think it's going to fit. Let's launch it out there. Oh yeah, it'll fit. Okay. And then we'll grab the rudder and just let's back it up a little bit. And then go forward with it a little bit. This is actually the first time I've been on a raft in this game. Isn't that funny? We started with the carve, so. Let me try to straighten it up a bit. It's a little shallower in here, um, which is partly why I wanted to put the raft in here anyways. Okay. There we go. So we have a raft in there if we ever need it for any reason. <laughs> um, we need to build a carve, too. Uh, that is a ship that we might actually use again if we need if we need to for any reason. 
Uh, and even if we don't, I'm going to build it anyways, because why not, right? we got the resources. Oh, uh -huh. <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so we have bronze nails. Uh, let's see, what else do we need for the carve? We need 20 deer hide and 30 fine wood. Not a problem. Okay, 30 fine wood and 20 deer hide. Okay. And that we're going to put in this slot. And, yeah, we might as well have it facing out. And we want to probably drop it right about there, I'm thinking. There we go. Fits pretty nicely. Um, I'm going to actually back it up just a smidge. Just a teeny tiny bit. Okay. We're going to even go back just a little more. I don't, we don't really need to, though. I think that's good. I think that's good. Perfect. Okay. Um, so we have all of our ships. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm liking the way this is turning out. Okay, so now, next step for the wharf. Um, I'm really thinking about how I'm going to do the front end of the hall here with the idea of a bedroom loft kind of thing. Now, if we, if we do that, we're probably going to have to change or insert some iron poles into these uprights um, if we do what I what I have in mind and the thing is is if it goes out it only goes out to here it's only gonna be you know and we and we start it from here it's only gonna be a three wide loft which isn't very wide of course it would have quite a bit of length to it but it's not very wide so we could either extend out further that way um, or the loft could start I don't think I want to start it here because I think that's too far into the hall but maybe we could start it like you know a tile or two this way not really sure um, and then the next question is if we do do it that way how is it going to uh, blend in with the wharf but I think what I'm, I'm gonna do is build the wharf now the way that I want to and then worry about how those will blend later if if they even blend at all um, so I don't know if that made sense to you guys but that's kind of what's in my head here so all right we are out of getting low on food here I've got plenty of stuff to make but I just haven't taken the time to do it so I have more turnip stew um, let's see what else. We got lots of lox meat. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eat s some lox meat for now, because we got plenty of it, and it's not that hard to get. Okay. So, let's go ahead and grab, uh, an upright core, and that I don't know if that's the right angle or not. Let's put a um, let's put a 26. It is okay. Perfect. Good. So the way we're gonna cover this is we're just gonna use 26 degree roofs going down. It won't we won't be able to make it a peaked roof, but um, you know, it's just is what it is. That's the way we're gonna do it. Okay. So uh, grab some more 26 beams. Go there, there, and there. All right. Yeah, I, there's no way that I can think of that we would be able to make this a peaked roof because we'd ha it'd have to go down two angles, you know? Um, so we're just going to do it this way. Okay. And like I said, I'm not I'm not going to worry about anything over on this side for now. We'll figure that out later. Now I think what we can do is just come along here and put core wood poles here. Oh, 
Out of core wood. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go grab some more core wood. Grab a stack of that. Let's put uh, a couple things back that we don't na need to be carrying around with us now since we're here. Uh, the hide, deer hide can go in there too. And we can put the resin there. And let's grab some more normal wood. I'm going to have to go do some more logging here pretty soon. Don't think we need any more stone for now. All right, now, um, this post here is not the same level as, well, see, I don't even know if these ones are. I might, we might have to redo these posts. Um, let's see if we can finagle it a little bit first before we, we do that. Because I know all of these posts are, are, are the same height, or they should be anyways. It's just these, I did these earlier in, in you know, um, yeah, I did them earlier, so they might not be exactly the same. Our carve's getting a little crooked in there, but I don't think we can do much about that. Okay, so let's remove those two boards, or logs rather. And we're going to want to come across now this way. Okay, so that one's fine. That one's not. Oh yeah, that, whoa, what the hell? Oh yeah, we, we're we gonna totally have to redo those. They're not, not only are they not the right height, but they're not even lined up this way either. Um, okay. So, that means, um, those are lined up this way, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think they are. Okay. Well, here, let's finish this out. And we'll put a shorty on. The Ooh, that was a high wave. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I mean, we're a good, I'd say, when the water's calm anyways, I'd say we're a good couple feet above the surface. Yeah, those are just some big waves. I'm almost wondering if we should raise this thing up even higher. Nah, I, I think it's going to be fine. Okay, let's do this side too. Okay. So what we have to do is redo these two guys. They are not lined up correctly. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm going to remove that board and um, I guess we don't really need that cross piece there either. And let's remove that one. Okay, I hope this doesn't um I hope this doesn't cause a collapse when I temporarily remove this. I wonder if we can let's zoom down just a little bit more. So if we take a an upright we could try and eyeball it, but if we uh you know we are gonna need more stone. I was didn't think I was gonna have to do this. I think if we raise the ground, it'll we can get it to snap. Let's give it two squirts. There we go. Okay. And then put that there, and we're golden on that side. Let me just pop those back out. See if I can pick that up. There we go. That was actually not too hard to do. All right, let's do the same thing on this side. So we'll raise the ground up a little bit, maybe two, two things, and then try it upright. Uh, oh, we might have taken the ground up a little too high there. That's uh, that could be a bit of a challenge. Darn it! 
Uh, there's no way I can lower it from here now. Unless, I mean, I don't know if this is going to do anything or not. Oh, it did. It did. It helped. Okay, good. And then take those two out. Pick those up. Well, I'm having to jump down there. I have to wait for a big wave here. Come on, waves. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. And that is fixed. Beautiful. Okay. So now we just, we're going to put a roof in and then we're going to, man, look, look how high those waves are. My goodness. Oh man, should we raise this? Uh, if we do though, then we're going to have to raise this. Not that that's a big deal, but... Um, nah, I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Sometimes the dock's going to get wet. That's all there is to it. Okay. So now what we want to do is grab... Let's go with, uh... Let's go with... Uh, can we do 45s? I don't know how this is going to actually work. Oh yeah, we can do 45s. Or we just don't need to use a peak. I can't quite get that up there. Okay. Let's just confirm for sure, but I think we're good. Get up on a ladder here. Yeah, because 45s make their own peak. You don't need to use the ridge. Um, I mean, you can, there is a 45 ridge, but with this, uh, arrangement, they should just intersect automatically. Just like that. Um, the question, though, is do we want that steep of a roof on this? Um, what would it look like if we did this will kind of give it more of a rounded yeah I like that better I like that much better okay let's take this off let's get a little foggy out okay I think we have a plan now and we know what we're going to do whoops So these, these pieces actually placed above the log, which I kind of like. Um, yeah, I kind of like that because then it gets this little, you know, thatch looking crap out of the way. Yeah, I think I'm going to redo it um, and have it match that end. I'm glad that was a happy accident, as Bob Ross used to say. <laughs> okay, so uh, we now have uh, the roof on the wharf. Now, let's do a little bit of trim work here. So, um, we could, we could run these along kind of as, um, bumpers for lack of a better term. I kind of did something like this on our south base too, our dock there. Well, it looks like the ship is caught underneath the dock. Is it? The lip of it? Uh, it might be a little bit, I don't know. Yeah, I think maybe it is. <laughs> okay. And we got a shorty here. Alright, we'll do the same thing over here. 
Actually, hmm. Okay, let's do, uh, let's wait on that for a second. Put that there and that there. Um, we don't want to cover up the stairs, so let's actually work from this direction. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, now we need more core wood. Um, I'm completely out of wood other than what's in my, of, of normal wood, other than what's in my inventory, so... I have to probably go do some lumberjack in here. Okay, and then this goes here. Do the same thing on this side. We know that this is going to fit here, so we might as well put it there now. Alright, nice. So that's done. Um, what else? Do we want to do anything else? with this or are we good to go one thing we could maybe do is put pieces across there and maybe put our good old X piece um, up there just to add a little flavor to things and we'll do the same thing on this side All right, um, now we, we probably should put some guardrails in so we don't accidentally uh, fall off. So let's do that now. So you snap there, you snap there. Hammer broke. Brought the hammer down a little too hard. A little too long. Then we get our 26 degree beams here. Flip them around this way. And do the same thing here. And then we also want to uh, do some rails up here, but we might be able to... Just trying to think if I want to use core wood or the normal stuff. If we used core wood... Oh, yeah, that's going to be too high for a rail. Okay, well, that answers that question. Let's put a corner piece there, and yeah, and one there, and probably one there too. Okay, so I think we probably should... Yeah, see, the, I centered those. Those aren't, like, on the seams. Just wondering if we should have some more uprights, though. It won't be evenly spaced if we do. That's the problem. All right, let's, let's not do that, and we'll just see what it looks like. Okay, so we'll start on this end... Safety first, boys and girls. Safety first. Gotta have rails. Okay, let's take a step back and... Mm. What I'm actually th thinking... Yeah, I think that looks much better. That's the way it should be. 
That's the way it should be. Looking good, man. Looking really good. I love it. Uh, we should probably put a pole here just because it feels right. You know what I mean? Excellent. It's looking good, man. Looking good. Okay. Well, I think, you guys, that that's pretty much all we want to do on the wharf. We could... Um, here, let's eat something. I've got three pieces of wood left. How about that? <laughs> yeah, we are completely out of wood. We could maybe do some more X's in the corners just to add some more deco to it if we wanted to. And um, I might put some standing torches down here too just so we have a little bit of light. I don't like that this boat's all crooked, but what can you do, right? That's fitting in there just nice. Well, it's a little crooked, too. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right, me and... And, you know, we have the... We have the bench right underneath here, so we can always repair the ship. Looking good, man. Looking good. Okay. So, yeah, I think... I think we can call the wharf pretty much done, at least until I get some more wood, and we could... I might actually want to put... Oh, actually, yeah. You know what? Let's look at this real quick. Let's just put um, like a little trim piece along there too. I don't like the the thatch kind of sticking up there, but unless I put something on top of there, I don't know what we, we can fix that. Can I put another piece up on top? Um, let's get up here. I can. Hey, I like that. Kind of like a little, little dumb shot there. Or we could just take these out. I mean, the thatch is still sticking out a little bit, but it's... Here, just grab that. Hmm. Well, yeah, I get. I don't. I didn't really like the double thing. So I think we're gonna just be happy with that, because it's just part of the game, the way the thatch looks. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm happy that uh, got the dock done, mostly. Um, maybe a little more dec dec uh, decorative work and maybe some standing torches down there at some point. But I'm out of wood anyway, so I can't do much about that. All right, guys. Now, um, there's look at all that smoke. Just I never even noticed that before. I guess it doesn't cause a problem. I wonder if it would eventually smother. You know what? Though we're gonna we are gonna be putting a hearth in here with it with a chimney. So. That's funny, though. I'm just now noticing that that smoke's all gathering at the top there. Huh. Okay. Well, anyway. Um. So, what's left to do? What's left to do? In terms of actual building of structures, the last part of this endeavor is to build a... basically a bedroom. The idea the general idea, and I talked about this in... Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, the general idea is that we... I wonder if I should have like a ladder getting the back up on the dock. The only problem is I wonder if mobs can use it. They probably can't. I'd be actually quite surprised if they could. Anyway, um, the general idea is that we have some kind of a loft overhang th thing on this end of the building... And that, you know, that becomes the, the the bedroom. The king's or the jarl's bedroom. Um, but exactly how I'm going to do that, I'm not sure yet. And then, you know, because it's going to be high up and then we'll be able to kind of look out over the, over the bay. And hopefully we can clear the roof there. 
uh, as a part of that process, the roof of the wharf. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, so so that's the last major structural thing. Then I'm I'm planning on uh, redoing the kitchen in here, the kitchen area. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that, but I am planning on doing that. And we're probably going to put a hearth in here as well, rather than just a single fireplace. And then back here, um, this is going to go. I'm gonna, I need to raise the rest of this ground over here to match the level of this ground. And then we're going to have our two windmills. And we're going to have uh, probably a small uh, turnip and carrot garden, but I'll, I'll still continue to also grow those out on the plains in quantity. Uh, oh, I am going to put a stone wall around the place, too. I don't know if I mentioned that to you guys or not, but uh, I am going to put a stone wall around the place. And then the last thing is over on this side, I'm planning on building a corral and taming some boars. Um, so that we have some critters um, and not so much because I need to do it, but just just for funsies. That's probably at least a one star buck there, I'll bet you. The doe didn't even notice. Oh, she noticed that time. Oh, maybe... Yeah, that was probably at least a one star. We got four pieces of meat off of one deer. That's not bad. Anyway, um, so yeah. Bedroom, kitchen, wall, corral, tame boars. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> and that's uh that's what's well, oh 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 yeah, and I forgot, we gotta we gotta still have to put a roof over the tower too, so so there's actually that too. Man, there's still a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> and then there's all the decoration, but anyway, um, I think this is probably a good stopping point, so I'm going to let you guys go here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to keep uh, working away. I hope you guys, again, don't mind uh, all the building episodes, but I kind of just want to get this all done. Um, and then, you know, when we get to the point where we're done with at least the major structural stuff, uh, we'll probably go ahead and start gearing up for Yagolith. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.